Hello again. Now, the Public Protector's legal team has admitted it appointed disgraced lawyer and fugitive from justice, Paul Ngobeni, without conducting any verification processes on his credentials. The office's legal services manager, Tim Kosis Tole, has been grilled by evidence leaders and MPs in Parliament's inquiry into Busisiwe Mkwebane's fitness to hold office. Ngobeni was paid close to 100,000 rand for writing opinion pieces criticizing Mkwebane's detractors. The inquiry resumed today after a week-long break. It's heard that 72 applications against Mkwebane's reports have been lodged, with 37 being set aside and another 47 pending in court. Governor Whittles reports. Paul Ngobeni is reportedly wanted in the U.S. for practicing without a license, and in Parliament, the good party wants to know how his appointment was approved. When you are giving names or someone is giving names to the attorneys appointed, um, is there no process where, where those names are considered for appropriateness, regardless of Mr. Ngobeni's past, uh, anybody? I mean, if you, if you decided to appoint Brett Heron as an expert on uh, reserve banks or central banks, I would not be an appropriate appointment. Is there no process to assess the appropriateness of the appointment? No, there's no process. Asked why Paul Ngobeni was not vetted, Satole says it's not his fault. He is in a report of the public protector, which has not been set aside, described as a fugitive of justice. Now, that is a 2012 report of the former public protector. On what basis would the, he have been appointed to, first of all, provide an opinion? And secondly, to provide communication services to the Office of the Public Protector. Thank you, Honorable Mylan. Uh, as I've stated, the instruction to appoint counsel uh, came from uh, the late Mr. Nyem. Sotola is expected to come under further scrutiny about the amount of money spent on legal advice and how counsel to represent Mkwebane was chosen. Govan Whittles, Johannesburg.